I read your mind this week. No burnt knew... tacos? Hmm. Uh, sure, you could say. I knew that you were thinking, we have not seen Pam Anderson naked on this show yet. Why have we not seen that yet? I mean, it... Sort of. That's no, so yeah, it's good enough. So, we're rectifying that this week. We're watching Barb Wire, starring Pam Anderson. This was ah. sent to us by Michael Toten. And I know this is based on a comic book. Really? From the 90s, which I never read. Summer might be winding down, but the heat is on and turning up. Now is the chance to win a Hennessy Ford Bronco for $75,000 in cash. The last day of the Ridge Summer Sweepstakes is September 30th, and you don't have to spend anything to enter. We'd love for you to go to www.ridge.com slash Jason Grant to enter on the website. For the last days of the sale, there will be a few bonuses keeping things hot. As of September 22nd, there's a bonus of two times the entries for every $1 spent on the site. And if you buy new Hennessy products, you'll get 10 times the entries. Using our website will also get you 10% off your Ridge order and 10 bonus entries into the sweepstakes. It's not just the classics of wallets and key cases. You can add an AirTag strap to any wallet. Plus, there are other accessories and gift ideas, like the Ridge ring, watches, and apparel. So don't sweat it, there's still time to enter. You have until September 30th. Go to www.ridge.com slash Jason Brandt for the hot chance to win that Hennessy Ford Bronco or $75,000. But I just remember when this movie came out, it was kind of a big deal for nerds because it was a comic book movie. And it was Pam Anderson, so they were like, ah. But I heard it was terrible and I just never watched it. <laughs> Oh, the far distant future of 2017. <laughs> Second American Civil War. Okay. A secluded island of shrinking independence. It is a place marked by chaos. And so, of course, the only free place is yeah. crime ridden and insane. Uh huh. The Freedom Zone. Dark Horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh we're married. This is when she's married to Tommy Lee. Okay. So it might not. This is sex tape era. Might not be too scandalous because she's oh. still married to him. Starting out strong. Recovered, oh. though. What does being married to him have to do with scandalous? It's Tommy Lee. I don't know. Oh, 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 do we have nip? Or is it still, like, covered by the zipper? Uh, I'm looking hard. I think it's taped over. Mm. Clint, Clint Howard? Howard? Brian is going to die. No, I that, saw nip. That was nip. I saw nip. That's oh, yeah. All, uh, it's okay. all nip. We're getting more naked as this goes. This is maybe the best credit sequence I've ever seen in a movie. Well, this is going to be an editing, fun editing time for you, huh? Jesus, I didn't even think about that. Don't ruin this for me. <laughs> Making me think about all the work I oh, have to do. Oh, gee, you have to stare at this for eight hours every day. How horrible. Wow, this is... Long. This is just Pam's boobs. Pam's doing a great job of this scene. I don't know what this movie's about still, except that Pam Anderson's she hot. She doesn't either. And she's willing to pull her boobs up. She does not care. Well, hadn't seen her naked on the show yet. We have now seen five minutes. Oh! What? Oh, this is the Lawless Freedom Zone or whatever it's called. You just look at Pam Anderson and, like, sex machine, right? That's all you see. It's a woman built for what she did with her career. I remember her boobs being huge. I'm looking at now, they're huge, but I think it's more, she is so small. Yeah, well, of course, she's a small person. But, but are they technically big? Like if they were on a, a woman who's 5'10", they're just gonna look like regular boobs. Uh, what's her face from Sorceress? Julie Strait. Yeah, well, yeah. how tall is she, 6'1"? Six, 6'1"? Six one? Feet, six one. Six one or six two, something like that. That's, that's probably the boob size she was born with. Her boobs were bigger than Pam Anderson's head. Yeah. Shut up. That was that not was not a man in a wig at all. No, that's Britney Spears hair too. God damn it. Oh, that's Pam Anderson. Hair. It's Pam Anderson hair. They put it on Britney Spears. 
see that lighting on her face is what they try to do to Seagal. When he's trying to look like a sex machine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Free City. Can you tell me why Cordy's going to Still Harbor? What is this machine? <laughs> They shocking her nipples and her vaheen. Is this the point? I don't know if this is for her or for him. Sure still poses quite a problem to the congressionals. Her escape could jeopardize. <laughs> Just push yeah, her away. Yeah, he's <laughs> this movie's wow. freaking great. How have I never seen this? That's an outfit, girl. I'm honestly surprised I didn't see this. This came out when I was 14. How did I not watch this? How have you never seen this? Excuse me. Hey. Who do care? He's in Blade. Oh. He's the vampire that um, he takes time. him out, he pulls his teeth out, and then lets him melt ah. in the sunlight. Okay, this is what I'm saying about these movies. They, when you when you kick off that strong, you have to keep your pacing. I think. I don't think they do. No, they don't. I think you get that sale. Five minutes of Pam Anderson topless. You're either in or you're out. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't been in it since. No. <laughs> Look at her necklace. N necklace. Hmm. Oh, God. Ah, sweet dreams. That was huh. crunchy. Damn. That was like six celery sticks. Some yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> broke for <laughs> License of prostitution? I thought this was a freedom zone. You have to get a license to be a hooker? What kind of freedom zone is that? This movie had a budget. This isn't like that shit we watched with, uh... Carmen Electra? Yeah, um... That was terrible. The Chosen One. The movie no. was so cheap they couldn't get Carmen Electra to be naked in it. Which is... That's so weird to me. You have Carmen Electra? She wasn't naked in your movie. That's how cheaply made that was. I can hardly wait. The choker is killing me. <laughs> yeah. It also has like a four inch diameter. It's probably Tommy Lee's. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny, probably. Look! That is an outfit. I mean, that looks like she could barely breathe in that. Damn, stunt double's getting after it. Mm -hmm. Who's the stunt double? This guy was throwing all the bullets. Apparently that's a very strong table. It's a great table. This movie's all visual. Yeah. And the visuals aren't bad at times. Not horrible. And I like the idea of a like a super sexy woman trained to get and like infiltrate these spy. bad guys. Yeah. 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 That makes obvious sense to me. Of course. You know? It'd be so easy to get information. Yeah. Who's, who's the sexiest person we know? This one. You, yeah, know. you send Pam Anderson in to get information, she comes back with all of it. From anybody. Don't call me babe. Woohoo! Oh. Whoa. This is not a cheap movie. No. This costs millions. Mr. Krebs. Hey! hey! Pleasure to see you too. You're looking rather buoyant this evening. <laughs> Clint Howard has a pinky ring on. Fog, you of all people should know that. I gotta remember that. Buoyant. You're looking buoyant. Look, look how huge her boobs look. And that waist is cinched. Holy crap. And we met Clint Howard, and he was very small. He's super tiny. You go okay? Candy from the baby. Her tattoo was real. I think she had it removed. Barbed wire? Mm hmm. Did she have it for this movie? I think so. Go for it. Would you dance with me? Did she start that barbed wire trend? You remember how many guys had barbed wire? Maybe. I don't know. Sounds expensive. I've been saving my lunch money. I didn't know you were open for lunch. 
I mean, it's kind of dragging. It feels like they're adding a lot of story to this. Yep. There's only one one reason to have this like chair lounge thing in your office. Yeah. It's where you do your paperwork. Uh, Obviously. Taxes. Miss Kapetsky died in the war. I'm barbed wire. Civil war, I guess? Oh, uh, right. She was a soldier. Obviously. Obviously. Now you don't want to see her roll over, do you? Like, why was that in the movie? It feels like there's way too much story. This is this part's dumb. We just keep getting more characters, more scenes, more characters, more scenes. Yep. I think you'll find our guests from Washington command a bit more respect than that, Barb. You're losing me. We haven't seen some boobs in a while. And not really a whole lot of action. Colonel Fraser, Alexander Willis. Okay, so they look like Nazis, of course. They look like Nazis. Excuse me. It's Paul O'Brien. Mm. You're welcome. Contact with all levels of society. I thought you were getting to the point. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Hi, Pop. Outside. Come on. Outside. You're gonna miss all the story. Yeah, the story. I wish Clint Howard would come back. For real. Every movie could use more Clint Howard. That's the truth. Thank you for your hospitality, Citizen Warren. This dude straight up look like Nazis. I mean, for Christ's yes. sake. I can help. The blind leading the blind. She has the genetic code of something or oh, other. That's right. that's right, that's right, that's right. And they're on the run. That's literally been the whole story so far. It's like, get on with it. Is what makes this worse, the fact that Pam Anderson is in it and you don't see her? If this had been anybody else, would be like, all right, it's not terrible. We're totally disagree. Like, I think if Pam Anderson wasn't in this, I would Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's this. my question. That's my question. There has been one action scene, mm -hmm. other than her, you know, hematomas being out at the beginning. Hematomas, good lord. That plane for Canada leaves in 24 hours. There must be somebody that can help us out. There's only one. We're a little low on cash. This feels like they're trying to compress too much of a bunch of issues or storylines into one. Like, why was that just in the movie? You know what? We didn't read Howard the Duck either, and that movie sucked. And that movie's story was also convoluted. Yeah. We didn't meet the villain till the last quarter of the movie. You bet, Mo. Yeah. Hey, that guy's in Predator too. Hey. He does all the coke. Oh my God, we're only halfway. Literally, like on the on, on the nose. On the nose, halfway. Oh God, I'm gonna rip my hair out. Oh, we're only halfway. Oh, I don't like it. Oh God. Oh, this is painful. Ugh. Look who's here. This is rough. This is rough. This came out in the theaters? Yeah. The budget is nine million dollars. Is that a lot? Back then, yeah. Made 3.8 million. So lost its ass. Oh, imagine that. It's probably just... tanked her movie career, to be honest. When did the sex tape come out? Before or after this? Uh, probably right around this. Oh. Looking like a soldier. Here's the thing. I, I don't mean to be tearing apart Pam Anderson. She's a pr she is a beautiful woman. Just, this is. Pull her hair back. She's supposed to be a soldier. Put glasses on her and she's a scientist. I mean, that's just the way it goes. I want to trade him to you. For what? Get me out of Steel Harbor. Who thought, let's get Pam Anderson mm -hmm. in a comic book adaptation mm -hmm. and have her deliver a ton of dialogue? Uh, Here it is in slow motion, Colonel. Oh my god. Even this, we're getting a replay of action. Yeah, well her boobs are in it for two seconds. Dude! This is painful. Uh, not happy. I 
legitimately think if they sprinkled her nakedness out throughout, you wouldn't notice as it, much. It'd be way better. I'm unarmed. How'd you get in here? Really? Mm. You're gonna cover her boobs with suds? Mm-hmm. As if we didn't see the beginning of this movie? Maybe she gets paid per minute. I would be willing to bet that's the case, like per nude scene. Yeah, because that's what she's famous for. That's how she makes her money. Yeah. yeah. Who knew? Who knew? Toten knew. That's why he said it. He Toten. said it for the first five minutes. Let's be real. Toten knew. He said, ha ha, I'm going to send these fools this movie. They're going to be like, oh my God, the first five minutes. This movie's fantastic. Joke's on you. This movie sucks. And I learned that Topeka, Kansas was a lab experiment and that the Congressional's plan to unleash... Wah, 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 wah. She's talking about the HIV derivative that will kill you in 12 hours. Sell yourself to the highest bidder. I'm out of your price range. Oh, and out of this movie's price range too. Oh! Am I wrong? No. They even front-loaded the budget on that fight scene. Because that fight scene, we're like, this is not bad. Yeah. Well, and now, holy shit. Wait for it. Shit. She's in her superhero outfit. Here we go. Here we go. Doesn't that feel like that's her ass kicking outfit? Like Carmen Electra's was that silver thing that she put on. So Carmen Electra's going to appear to stop this. Oh <sighs> my God. Oh my God. This is not real. Let, this is not let, let us, real. This movie's dumb, 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 dumb. I hate this. Dumb, uh, dumb. <laughs> Big fatso. Big fatso. Big fatso. We've seen this dude. Where are the action scenes? Seriously. Like, even not for being a Pam Anderson movie, just for being a movie. I expect it to be bad, because it's legendarily bad. I didn't expect it to be boring. It's boring. That's the sin on the show. That's the one thing boring. you can't do, is be boring. There are parts, like, this looks great. I don't know who shot it, but they did a good job. Yeah. They just didn't yeah. have anything to shoot. No, you're right. All no. you do is you have Pam Anderson shooting guns. And throwing spinning kicks. Showing the guns and shooting guns. I mean, that's it. What else do we need? Entertaining I movie. I swear to you, budget went into the first five minutes. Like this shot? This this took time and money to set this up. No, you're right. That's I mean, extensive. The lighting is good. You're looking at all the layers of the movie. You're right. I'm not. I'm just like pissed right now. The direction is bad. It's boring. The writing is bad. It's boring. But it's shot well. But but the cinematographer's like, I am not going down with the ship. Mm. From around the same amount of time for probably a tenth of the budget. Okay. The Ultimate Warrior movie, Firepower. Way more entertaining. Even this. It's just people driving up and stopping. Ugh! Someone throw a spin kick. Long fuse on that grenade. Yeah, I mean, oh god. Hey, hey, something's happened. Okay, don't you're, complain. Oh, all right, all right, all right. All Shit's right. blown up. That's right. That's true. Fine. There'd be a grease fire with that big fatso guy. It's hard to put. It's hard to put out. <laughs> It'd be like napalm going off. Yeah. Just burning everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Big fat so. <laughs> I'm so bored, I didn't even call that guy Dave. Oh my god. Oh, you missed the opportunity! That's how much I hate oh. this. I'm just, I don't even know what to say. I'm just like, I hate this movie. Where has this been the whole movie? That's oh, the end of the movie, that's why, right? Oh. Whoa. Oh, that was a big one. That was my grease fire. She should have had like little darts in her nipples or something. Like, <laughs> she's not a fembot. Ooh. Oh, we shot fireworks off the front to blow up the bus. Okay. Oh, dude, that looks great. That looks great. Oh, oh that dumpster really uh, you up. That dumpster didn't move. Not an What's inch. in that dumpster? Oh my. 
what? We should have seen this coming though. Where has this been? We should have seen this coming. Yeah. First 15 minutes, last this, 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that kind of movie. You didn't throw your bullets. They didn't go as fast. Dumbass. Yeah, everybody knows That's that. This is a rookie move. That was a big jump. That was a guy guy. That was a big step. He, like, he rolled around. He got flipped around though, so I'm okay. Shit is happening, and I like it. Uh, it's just hard to go from being bored to being excited. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Dude, that was a crazy stunt, too. That dude did at least two flips. That looked like a dude. <laughs> it did, didn't it? That looked like a dude. It did. Oof. Yes! Oof. Yes! That was pretty cool. Woo! Something! That was pretty cool. Something interesting! Put these in. They came out of her eyeballs? Yep. Yeah. Get in line. Jesus Christ. Why would you think that was a good way to end the movie? The end of that made me kind of feel like that was Casablanca. Aaron. Nope. Okay, yeah, that movie sucked. That was horrible. If you want to watch this, watch the first 10 to 15 minutes. Let me just shut it off. I just saved you 95 boobless minutes. Shut it off. I don't know what I don't know if I hated Battlefield Earth worse or this. At least Battlefield Earth kept me like miserably entertained. I wasn't even miserably entertained. I was bored. I got five minutes of Pam Anderson's boobs, so that elevates it above Battlefield Earth.